and now Tempo stands in their way to try and claim the major qualifier spot. Stokes, what do we think of this matchup as we get prepared to jump into it here in the next few moments? Well, the uh, stylistics of uh, Disrupt and Tempo are a touch varied, uh, especially when looking at Tempo and uh, how they stack up against Disrupt. Disrupt is a touch of a one-man army when it comes to a lot of the entry ability. NJR has taken up the mantle. He's been doing such a fantastic job. We have seen him get shut down, especially in the last matchup that they have, and didn't really bode well for Disrupt, and that's what scares me about this roster, is if Shuttle and Nyx don't show up in that frag department, it could spell disaster. And no real plan, it seems, from Disrupt on how necessarily to try and fish those Nitro Cells out. Uh, there is going to be the first plan attempt coming in right now from Retro, though, as he drops down and goes for it. Nitro Shells will be following it up in just a moment, but no! It's just going to be straight up frags coming in on the rest of the team. Retro is going to be the only one that gets dropped here as Disrupt try to clean up the basement very quickly. Tempo still in this, however, as the plant will now go down, but their two remaining players have to try and find some way to get aggressive from their basement positions and swing up from the retake. That's going to be easily the hardest part of this, and it's not even going to get started. Great follow-up from DG. Definitely took them a moment to get themselves prepped for it, but when the execute came in, it came in pretty hard there. Yeah, also something else that I want to talk about here, John, something that we uh, haven't talked about just yet throughout the series is NJR's performance. We're seven rounds in. The guy doesn't even have a kill yet. He's 0-2-6. and six. And in case you guys haven't been watching this season and this is just the first day back, first of all, hello. Welcome to the NAL. And secondly, NJR is the best rookie in the entire NAL right now. He actually holds first for NJR entry third for KD and he's tied fourth for clutches in the entire league so him having a silent day can definitely be a cause for what's going on with their disrupt and it also took Tempo a really long time to figure out where the electric wall was and that's wasted off their clock Tempo's gonna be panicking a lot now to try to get on the site and that can obviously cause mistakes doesn't seem like that's what's happening though Mark is able to find one through the floorboards against shuttle pushes their man advantage up sloppy is gonna continue to push that coefficient even further into his team's favor retro finally gets a trade plan attempt is going down here and Nyx just casually headshotting them to stop it wanted to wait for the maximum time on that one confirms the kill on a dream before getting down but not eliminated creators is gonna finish him off but now it's retro alone all he has to do though is deny this plant he's on smoke no toxic babe so he's got to try and make an aggressive run in order to do it is he gonna be able to get there in time no no wait oh who's so close to denying it but doesn't get the job done only picks up the kill now the situation's flipped retro needs to get on this diffuser as quickly as possible in the hopes that mark won't peek him before realizing that it's being diffused he's got to swing around heavily as well this is gonna happen retro has the angle to win it and it's just gonna pull off the ninja diffuse before they even realize now that we're on to map point here, at least for consulate, we're guaranteed another map. We'll see how long Disrupt can finally stay alive here. NJR getting his first kill inside of round nine. Is this the comeback that we need? Is NJR's light finally on? doesn't really seem to have a great plan about how necessarily they want to handle the 3v5. A lot of players are split up. Looks like the attempt is going to be to try to work their way in through yellow. NJR going to get blinded out from that. Shovel's already shut down sloppy. So he's trying to push in from a different angle. NJR will get two players on the team ultimately as he goes down to crazy. Not least crazy alone. 1v4 situation. He's not going to be able to bargain his way out of that one. Nyx picks up the last kill as he also gets two on this round. And Disrupt find the ninth round. Good start to the defensive half here for Disrupt. Linking two together after losing split. Down to just 40 seconds to play off of here. A lot of information coming off the cardiac sensor again on Shuttle here. He knows exactly where the push is going to be working its way towards. Calling out for Nitro Cells. Nobody there to follow it up. He has one as well, but obviously there's that bit of delay in having to put away the sensor throughout the Nitro Cell. You know, a player could easily get out of the bad spot in the time that it takes to do that. So you're going to have other teammates do it instead. Crazy's going to get dropped while attempting to go for the plant. Down to 15 seconds left here now, but also the Nitro Cell count is starting to degrade a bit as well. They still have the capability to deny it, especially if this Nitro goes in the right spot not gonna happen though mark picks up the kill on nix the plant goes down they spot the planter just a second too late he's gonna be able to make it out of dodge just fine now this counter starts ticking in the direction and disrupt have a very big issue but thankfully they've also got some very big explosives njr with the first fine trade comes in from dream he's just gonna continue to unload his entire magazine as he looks for kills here but ultimately that's just gonna serve to give him away shuttle picks up the next kill sloppy's trying to play this passively at this point but the diffuse is already coming in he gets aggressive as we did see the air jab go off but now can he stop the counter diffuse no he cannot disrupt they're gonna be able to sneak in yet another round they get number 10 up on the board and this match gets closer and closer with each more round one by them right there 
Still has all the toxic gas grenades. Two more, even after that one's thrown out. They should be able to deny this just on time. Well, the good news is, is that they've blown both panels. So there's a possibility to plant in two separate situations. The bad news, though, NJR has definitely come alight. Crazy, planted in a very un or unorthodox area, planting next to Yellow Pillar instead. Dream holding the crosshair for Shuttle. Shuttle swings out and gets eviscerated. What a shot. Oh, Tempo Storm all over round 11. Don't even give DG a chance. Tempo pick up Consulate. And they're finally working their way into sight. Stun grenades pour in. This could be a pretty fast execute here. They're trying to rush in through the single panel at the back of sight. Crazy needs to get this frag here, but he can't disrupt all over Tempo Storm in the back of Armory. Raid yet again, and that's going to be, I believe, three for him on the round. A flawless round for Disrupt as well. Destruction. Not a bad adjustment at all, especially because they weren't able to get con uh, control of Garage earlier on, but didn't make too hard of an attempt either. So it seemed that for Tempo, this might've been the game plan all along. They're pressuring from everywhere. And mind you, they also have access to that buck. This is something that we saw them pull out from under Tempo's feet the last time that Tempo played Clubhouse, but now Mark right back on it. They also have some holes made to try and prevent this from Bar, but he's already adjusted himself into the actual lounge area. Now it's up to Shuttle to try and play Chase here. As he in trouble he hasn't even looked across mark oh my he doesn't even look to his right shuttle takes him down and tempo storm in some trouble finally retro after two kills of the smg 11 both headshots as well cleans up round two this is like where the bands come in to help disrupt in a pretty major way too because if you remember the other two hard breachers that are available for competitive play are banned out right now so this is where that band comes in to help out disrupt in a pretty major way if they end up winning the round on this and so far that seems to be the way the round is trending but kills can sometimes be a bit misleading here and jr getting himself the c4 lineup it goes out but sloppy it seems to be very well aware of that fact and avoids it in the meantime though another member of tempo was just lost and now yet another one falls to nix this time sloppy in the 1v4 situation Already going past an evil eyes. There's a possibility he got scouted out by that. He does see the bullet hole here from the next room over. He's trying to guess as to where that player might be, but obviously that's really just a shot in the dark. Speaking of which, a good find to take out Nyx right there. He's going to be able to quickly pre-fire onto him without any other intel. Now, desperately looking for any more kills that he can negotiate for himself, but NJR hiding out underneath the dining room table is going to get the better of him. We'll see that next round go to DG. Well, you got him. We're going to figure out the bandit's position here, too. They know he's exposed in cash. Honestly, a random bullet could very easily take out Shuttle right now if he's not careful. So he needs to be very cautious of pre-fires and things of that nature, considering he is just hiding behind a softball. NJR with some light in this round, though. It gets not just one, but two players from way on the inside of Master. He's going to be able to down another as well. Nyx gets a confirmation on the mark, and that's it. Disrupt. Spin it back around and shut down the execute from Tempo. Okay. Well, that happened. NJR, I'm assuming, <laughs> sprinted from, uh, I believe, the mattress that lays there into the windowsill. And if you're able to get into a windowsill on this game, you can actually balance yourself on it to where you're not spotted outside. So, Disrupt needs to force themselves into sight somewhere. Retro's actually on the roof right now, so still trying to figure out exactly where they can possibly pressure in order to get this diffuser down in a safe area. Good catch from creators. There was a player ready to shoot him if he was going to swing off that drone intel. So finds that and realizes that, okay, probably not the best idea to try and make this play right now. In the meantime, though, NGR is going to be able to find a nice pickup, but creators finally gets the timing to swing out. Unfortunately, he's going to lose his only other teammate, but that is a stop from dropping another player. Trying to dance around the Montane. It's a very precarious dance because, unfortunately, Nyx has a very long reach on his melee. And with that, he's going to be able to finish things off, as you'll see here in just a moment, and give another round over to Disrupt. That's... Oh, well, it sounds like we are going to have a re-host here, guys. So, looks like yeah, you guys will be coming to us. Hello, how are you guys doing? Uh, we're currently 5-4 right now inside of Clubhouse between these two, so... Uh... All right, guys, got a bit of an update with regards to the rehost and what exactly is going on. I know that some of you may be confused as to why exactly we rehosted. Um, It was an admin that called for it, and it was for a very important reason. To explain it real quickly here, the peak that we saw at the end of one of the rounds from NJR, I think we're going to replay it here in a oh. second. Um, the peak that we saw from NJR, this one right here, where it was able to spin round six back around. This is an illegal peak, ladies and gentlemen. So as a result of that, Disrupt Gaming are going to be subtracted around and we we're going to resume the game where it was from that point forward well that's uh that's unfortunate i didn't hear your exact words there at the uh, phrasing there at the end so we have to go back to that round is that what you said 
No, so so we're going to continue okay. where we were, but the disruptor going to run. Ah, uh, so now does it is it gifted over to the temple? I'm assuming. Uh, that I was not told, okay. so I don't want to say right, well, yes we'll to that one in case I'm wrong. <laughs> we'll get it, we'll get it <laughs> I think they're just going to have one round removed, I believe, but we'll obviously, you know, have a much clearer picture once we get The damage is done here. Now they've brought it back, made things a little bit more palatable. Can they get into the site? Snade would certainly help, but unfortunately it is going to get eaten up by an ADS. Oh, good evil eye here inside of Wades. Gets a lot of intel on the last two remaining operators for DG. It will blow bathroom, but it's impacted up top. Good intel or a good utility usage there from Mark. Still have some pressure towards the top of main stairs, but at every front, Tempo is slowing them down. All of this utility still at their disposal. Still has an impact, tosses it over to deal a little bit of damage. Sees the gun barrel. Mark prone right now with the Alda. Can he get the second one for the road? He can. Mark finishes <laughs> it out with two headshots, and Tempo Storm out of these two will be the team to go to the NA qualifier for the major. For them, for Disrupt, they are unfortunately going to fall one position short of that and we'll take seventh overall for the stage of the US. Unfortunate, especially for Disrupt because of how well they came out this season. No one truly expected too much out of this squad. There was a, a lot of talk about them before the season started that, you know, NJR could definitely be something, but no one truly knew. We now know now that Disrupt is actually very, very good as a squad. I'm really, really excited to see what they're going to be doing uh, come next split. Plays out. That's going to do it for us for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. But don't go anywhere just yet, as we still have our final segment with the analysis desk coming up right after this break.